So, a few days ago, I had a dream that involved the announcement of Breath of Fire 6. Not that Japanese exclusive mobile crap, but a proper modern mainline Breath of Fire title. You know, the one that we've been waiting for Capcom to make for the past, uh, 19 years? Unfortunately, that dream ruined my day, as it only took a couple of seconds to hit me that a real Breath of Fire 6 is just not happening. But then I got to think about the Tsukiden stuff and how they came together to work on a new spiritual successor called Ayuden Chronicle. If they could do it, surely the team behind the Breath of Fire series could too, right? The problem was that I didn't know what the development staff had been up to for the past 20 years. Are they still creating games? Have they retired? Have they packed their bags for a life under the sea? This video is going to take a look at what the main people behind this series have been up to. All of these talented legends played a part in the development of two or more Breath of Fire titles. We'll start small but then move up to those who played the most significant roles. Before we get into it, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favour and hit the thumbs up. Also, feel free to sub for more RPG related videos. I'll also leave a link to a playlist of my Breath of Fire binge which includes reviews and loads of other videos related to this amazing series. Alright, let's get into it. The Breath of Fire series has some amazing music, so let's start with Yoshino Aoki, the composer of Breath of Fire 3 and 4. She worked with Akari Kaida in the production of the Breath of Fire 3 soundtrack and then took on the role by herself for Breath of Fire 4. Aoki also did the background vocals for Pure Again for Breath of Fire 3, a track that I absolutely love. While no longer at Capcom, Aoki is still heavily involved in the industry. She co-founded the music studio Unique Note with another former Capcom employee Tatsuya Shibata and most recently worked on Final Fantasy XV as well as arranging a few tracks for Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Now, let's take a look at the two producers of the series. Firstly, we have Takuro Fujiwara, who produced Breath of Fire 1 and 2. He was an extremely notable member of Capcom in the 80s and 90s, directing other popular titles such as Commando and Ghosts and Goblins. He was also the producer of the original Resident Evil game, which is a pretty big deal. In 1996, Fujiwara left Capcom and formed his own studio, Whoopi Camp, who created the Toomba series. After this point, he returned to Capcom, then left again due to health reasons, and has since been doing consultancy work in the games industry. His most recent work was in 2021, where he worked with Capcom once again in the creation of Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. If he's still willing to work with Capcom, maybe someone should just tap him on the shoulder to produce the next Breath of Fire game. Next, we have Hironobu Takashita, who produced Breath of Fire 3, 4, and 5. This guy has not skipped a beat and is still working at Capcom as a producer for some of their biggest titles, including Monster Hunter World and Monster Hunter Stories. During an interview in 2008, Takashita stated something that really excited Breath of Fire fans. He stated that Breath of Fire isn't dead, it's just resting. There are no plans now, but there will definitely be a new Breath of Fire game in the future due to the demand for it, but they're going to take their time and make it a really special one. Unfortunately, this was contradicted by the then Capcom R&D boss Kaiji Inafune who stated the following, There are currently no plans on making a new Breath of Fire game. Regarding RPG titles, they are very popular in Japan but only certain RPG titles sell so Capcom doesn't really need to even consider making these titles as an option. Wow, way to ruin the party, that is not what we want to hear. It's also worth mentioning the main programmer of the series. Yoshiharu Nakao also played a large role in Breath of Fire's development, working as a programmer for Breath of Fire 2, 3, 4 and 5. Like many others on the list, he is still working at Capcom with his latest programming roles being for Dragon's Dogma as well as Devil May Cry 4 and 5. He was also part of the management team for Capcom Arcade Stadium, which is a recent console port of loads of classic Capcom arcade games from the 80s and 90s. Now things are starting to get serious. Yoshinori Kawano is the man behind Breath of Fire 1 and 2, directing both of these titles. In Breath of Fire 3, he is also credited as the Breath of Fire series director. Kawano also played a major part in the 2000s with the development of the Mega Man series, directing Mega Man Legends 1 and 2 and the Mega Man Zero titles. His latest work was executive director of Dead Rising 2 in 2016. Since then, he hasn't been credited for anything. From what I could find, he still works at Capcom, However, it's unknown exactly what he's currently working on. Next, we have Tetsuya Yoshikawa, who joined Capcom in 1992 and is one of only two staff members that can be credited to working on all five games. 
He is the series character designer and is responsible for all of the amazing artwork in the series as well as the promotional illustrations. It should be noted that during the production of Breath of Fire 1 it was actually Inafune who designed the game's characters. However, his supervisor took him off the project and replaced him with Yoshikawa who kept many of Inafune's design features in his new illustrations. It goes without saying that Breath of Fire's style would not have been the same without him. Yoshikawa left Capcom in 2011 and worked at various companies over the years. Currently, he runs a game and animation production company named Odin. The good news is that Yoshikawa is still busy creating beautiful artwork for big time games. In 2016, he was the concept artist for Star Fox Zero and more recently the character designer for Devil May Cry 5. In 2020, he started up a virtual expo to showcase his new artwork. This expo was initially going to be held in a gallery at Shinjuku but it got cancelled due to the coronavirus epidemic. If you're a fan of his work, you can order the 2020 Tetsuya Yoshikawa Exhibition Pictorial Record online. I'll leave a link to the description below. So, what's he up to as we speak? Well, he joined forces with old Capcom co-worker Yasuke Hashimoto who directed Star Fox Zero and Bayonetta 2. They are working on a new original game involving dragons. Not much is known about this game yet, but this concept art does look amazing and definitely reminds me of Breath of Fire. Finally, the time has come, introducing arguably the most influential person behind the Breath of Fire series, Makoto Ikahara. He has been involved in all of the Breath of Fire games as the writer for Breath of Fire 1 to 4 and the designer and director of Breath of Fire 1, 3, 4 and 5. If there was ever going to be a Breath of Fire revival, this is the man we want at the helm. Since directing Breath of Fire 5 in 2002, he has worked on several other Capcom games including Dead Rising and Dragon's Dogma. Now, it's been very difficult finding any information on this mastermind but I did find that he still works at Capcom as a writer for Street Fighter 5. On the Street Fighter 5 website he's even referenced under the costume for Cat. It says, Cat from Capcom's legendary RPG Breath of Fire 2. One of the game's original planners is on the Street Fighter 5 development team so maybe they pulled some strings to make this happen. With Ikahara still busy at Capcom we can only hope that he can pull some strings for the future of the Breath of Fire series. If another Breath of Fire game is ever going to exist, these are the people for the job. The good news is that all of them are still active with many still working at Capcom, so you never know. All we can do is cross our fingers and continue spreading our love for the series. I also want to thank the We Desire Breath of Fire fan page for helping me dig up some info and you should definitely join this active community of Breath of Fire fans on Twitter and Facebook. This was Hellfire RPGs, thanks for watching. If you too are a Breath of Fire fan, check out some of my other Breath of Fire related content located on this playlist. Also, it would help me out a lot if you hit like and subscribe for more RPG content. See you next time.